Hello again everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev and today we're going to be doing a video on how to add columns. Uh, so what are we going to cover today? Uh, we're going to cover how to add a column to an existing table and how to add a column to an existing table that does not allow nulls. So as you can see here I've loaded up SQL. Uh, I'm going to look at my faithful database, the bookshop. Uh, so I'm going to open a new query window. So I'm just going to run a query here, so select all from customers. Uh, this is only quite a small database at the moment. Uh, we've only got a few customers in here. What we want to do is go through how to add new columns to this existing table, customers. Now, ideally, when we initially design the database, uh, we would have all columns included. But as we all know, uh, working in development, we sometimes have changes that we need to make uh, that cause us to have to add new columns. Um, so this database is based on a bookshop. Uh, it's just a hypothetical situation. Um, so let's imagine to the customers table, we need to add a opt-in flag. So customers who want to receive marketing uh, we're going to flag those in the database so we could run a query and send out mail shots to their email address or, or postal, uh, anything like that. To do that we want to add a new column to our a customers table, uh, opt-in. So it's just going to be a bit true or false to say whether the customer has opted in or not. So how we add that to our existing table customers what we're going to do, we're going to be altering this table customers and then what we want to do is add uh, what do we call it, C underscore opt in uh, that's going to be a bit, so it's just going to be true or false um, we can run this query let's run that now command complete it successfully if I open up the database in Object Explorer on the left hand side, I go to Tables, I've already got Customers and Columns open. As we can see, our new column is not showing, but if we right click on Columns and click Refresh, we can see now we've got our C opt-in. It's a bit and it's null. Now, as you can see in our statement, we didn't highlight whether this column should be null or not. And if we don't actually highlight that, it will be treated as a nullable column. What that means is the column can allow nulls. So if I run this top query, which is just a select all from customers, we can see our new column on the right hand side, C underscore opt in, and all of those are null. Now, let's say we want to add a column to an existing table where we don't want to allow nulls. And there are different ways we could do that. Uh, one option would be to create a default constraint. Uh, there will be a video on constraints coming in the future. I would say the easiest option though, um, I guess it really does depend on the size of the, the table and the data in there that you're working with, would be to allow that column to be null initially and then once you've inserted data, change that. So if we looked at just changing our nullable column now, so if we wrote alter table customers, now we want to alter the column, and our column is C opt in. Now we want that as a, a bit still, uh, but we now want it to be not null. So we're now changing that column from having the option to enter null or unknown as it represents to now we don't want to see any nulls within that column. As we can see we've got a problem here though because we've already got data in this table. So if I run this query now we're going to get an error to say we can't insert null into that column and that's because we're making a column not null but we're not actually inserting any data into that column. So if I run the query at the top again, select all from customers, as we can see, we've got C opt-in still set as null. Now our query failed to update that to be not null because SQL didn't know what data 
to insert that into that column. So like I mentioned before, one thing we can do is set up a default constraint. The other option would be if we've made a mistake when adding that column or if we're trying to add a column as not null to an existing table would be to update that data. So let's say our first uh, customer here, Michael Smith, he is going to be opted in. Uh, so we'll update customers, set C opt-in equals one. And then we're just gonna run another update for the purposes of this. So we're gonna say, where CID equals one for Michael. And then we're gonna set the other two customers to not equal one. So we're gonna say C opt-in equals zero, where CID not equal to one. And if we run that now, can see we've run two separate update statements there um, but if we look at our customers table again we can see we've now got the C opt-in column fully updated now I'll just remove these update statements for now if we look at our alter table statement here where we're trying to alter the column to not be null as we can see we've got no data in that column now that is null so if we run this we can now change that column to not accept nulls because we haven't got any null data in there. As we can see on the left hand side, looking at the columns as well, our C opt-in is still showing as null. Again, if we just right click on columns, refresh that, we can see now that's been highlighted to show not null. What I'm just gonna go over now is the, the statement itself in, in more detail. So if we look first of all, our initial thing, what we need to tell SQL is that we want to alter the table and give it our table name. Now what's quite interesting is when you're adding a new column, you do not indicate that you're adding a column. It is just simply add your column name and the data type. When you want to alter or drop that column, it is the word alter and then column or the word drop and then column, indicating the column that you want to drop or alter. So if we now wanted to drop that column, we'd say alter table customers, drop column, C opt-in. We also don't need to indicate to SQL what type, what data type this column is and, and whether it's nullable or not. If we run that query now, it will complete successfully. So SQL knows that we're changing this table and we're going to drop the column because we've indicated the name. If I run the query at the top so we can look at the data again, we can see that column's gone. And if I refresh the columns on the in Object Explorer, we can see it's now disappeared. Now, again, if we wanted to run another add column, uh, so we'll just we'll just work with the same column name again. So we're going to say add c opt in bit not null. So this is just adding the column, and we're saying to it it's not going to be null. Before we added the column as a nullable column, and then tried to change it. Now we're trying to add it uh, as not nullable. So we'll run this query, and again. We've got an error here. Alter table only allows columns to be added that can contain nulls or have a default def definition specified. So that's what I was uh, referring to earlier about a default constraint. Um, I, I'll just mention here what a default constraint is, is if there's no value added, it looks at the default and inserts that into the table for you. But we will be doing a separate video on constraints uh, as a whole. So we're not gonna go into that in too much detail now. Also, it could be an identity column. Um, so we haven't indicated that here. It's not gonna be an identity column for this table. And I think it's very unlikely you'll get into the scenario where you actually need to add an identity column to a table. They should always be done initially. In conclusion then, so if we want to run an alter table statement and add a new column where it's not null, uh, depending on the size of the data, there's a number of ways to do it. If it's just a 
small table it might be worth just updating your existing data so alt, uh, run a statement to add your new column as not as allowing nulls um, so that will add null to that column you can run an update after that and then change the column the column to not be null all the alternative is to add a default constraint guys if you like my video please do give it a thumbs up feel free to put anything in the comments below and subscribe to the channel for all new videos coming in the future thanks for watching